two deaths. Chopper 11 was over Fort Worth earlier today where hundreds of people in cars sat and waited in these lines for their next meals. The Texas Air National Guard was even called in to help out because so many people showed up needing food. And this wasn't the only setup in Tarrant County. In fact, there were four other drive throughs in Fort Worth, and there was one in Mansfield as well. CBS 11's J.D. Miles spoke to just a few of the families to hear their personal stories. Good, good. Y'all saying happy? Everyone in this long line of vehicles has a story about why they are here. Oh, Lord. Okay, where do I start? Lugenia Houston helps her family feed the five grandchildren she brought with her to the Tarrant Area Food Bank's monthly handouts you, of bread, produce, and other items. Ask these kids how much they eat, and whatever they give me, I will utilize. 600 families, about 60% more than usual, lined up outside Tarrant County College because they don't have enough to eat at home. I'm not as bad as some, but I could be better. So it's not, it's not dire, but it's getting there. And we have served well over 600 families. So we generally in a month serve around 300 families. The families today are, uh, some of them are living in their vehicles. Um, the, the need is everything. Before the boxes were loaded into the back of vehicles, they were packaged inside the Cowtown Marathon's warehouse by members of the Texas Air National Guard. We've experienced a 60% increase in distribution, and for that reason, we have run out of uh, space. We were mobilized uh, yesterday, uh, this specific group of... Those on the receiving end can't express how grateful they are at a time like this. Oh, my God. You don't know how I appreciate I try and think every single one of these people I see, every person who comes to us, I am so appreciative for what they're doing. The people in this line tell me that they typically only have about five days' worth of food on hand, and this is only a small sample of what's going on across North Texas. In Fort Worth, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.